Motorhead is not just a band, it's an institution, you know? Yeah, and, a lifestyle. These guys are, yeah, these guys are so fucking crazy <laughs> that I've never seen anything like it. I saw a lot of trouble with, with Motorhead when I joined them because they were, it was quite chaotic, if you will. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Uh, it was cha chaotic because you had Versal, Phil and Lemmy, three members that did not want to deal with the business whatsoever. Mm. They they just wanted to play rock and roll and party. And, and uh, I stepped into the band and I took that role immediately together with our manager. And I had the same role with King Diamond and pretty much the same role with Dawkin. Interesting. Okay. Uh, some kind of middleman. You know, the band came to me. I went to the business. Business came to me. I went to the band. <laughs> and and I always I always enjoyed being a, uh, involved in things. So, you know, I did not, of course, have all the trust as I should have uh, immediately from the guys. But, you know, you had to prove yourself and make the right decisions. And, and, and they thought it was, was great that I, I was the bumper, if you will. Right. Of course, we all decided stuff together. Yeah. But I took the first hits, I guess. My manager could call it and say, hey, listen, Mickey, you got to go to the boys. We need a decision on this. And, and I can't get a single word out of the band, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, because they were and, just, uh, you know, maybe writing or maybe partying or maybe both, you know. No, they just were not interested in it. They, they thought the business was a blood-sucking industry, you know, that mm. just wanted to take advantage of them. And, and they were right. Because up till that moment, it was chaos. In in they they got they got taken really hard in in so many ways, you know. By the labels, from the industry, yeah, yeah, labels and managements and people took advantage of them. And and uh, I don't say they were stupid in any shape or form, but they were just not enough involved in. In, in a lot of the details going on, I'd say. So yeah. when we had a, uh, when we got Todd Singerman as a manager and he stayed on till the end and he still is the best guy ever uh, that I ever met in this industry when it comes to honesty and hard work and, you know, hmm. he still uh, takes care of all the, the motorhead estate, if you will. Yeah. Um, Everything has to go through Todd, and and that's great. And and we all love Todd, and and Lemmy had fully trusted him, you know. So me and Todd kind of took over that part, if you will, you know. Right. It was How was that for you? For Lemmy, no, it's great. It, it was yeah. fantastic. That's what I wanted to be, and and Lemmy, I, I saw with Lemmy a, a big relief, if you will, you know. Oh. I don't want to fucking talk about this shit. It's always <laughs> about money. It's always about this. And I go, Len, we got to talk about it. Well, you fucking take care of it. And mm. and, and I did, you know. And uh, he took care of a lot of other things that I was not good at, you know. Okay. Right. So, Everybody had their roles. Exactly. And and Phil was a, was a clown of the, of the class, you know. So. <laughs> Yeah, like Lemmy said, he's such a mess, but I don't want him any other way, you know? Right. He's our Phil. He's our um, mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 